Hey, what's up you guys? So I wanted to talk to you today about superfoods. And before you even get an idea of like what superfoods are, uh, a basic definition would be a food that has really high nutrients with typically low calories and have been shown to reduce the risk of diseases and sickness. So to name a few would be avocados, berries like uh, blueberries, acai berries, which are very popular right now. But um, I want to talk about the next superfood, and it's going to be about flax. Which sounds kind of gross, but on Amazon you can find crickets, mealworms, in like Chex Mix cookies and stuff, anything like that. And I've tried it myself, so it's not that bad, it's like normal. But I am saying that you know, insects are the new superfoods because, and I've been talking about this forever, but there is a specific cockroach that can produce milk. And there was a study done from the University of Iowa. As I was saying, so the University of Iowa, the professor of the Department of Biology, Barbara Stay, has been uh, one of the first people to introduce the concept of cockroach milk. So the cockroach Diplo Diploptera fungnata, or I've seen uh, it with a P instead, so it would be Diploptera punctata. It's just a very specific type of cockroach, and when it is in its reproductive system and is producing eggs, the way it provides the nutrients for their eggs is by their gut they will produce like a very concentrated nutrient substance that's kind of crystalline that will feed to the eggs in the brood sac and barbara was able to harvest this in a way where she there's a specific gestation period from when the babies are in the egg and then when they're getting their nutrients where you can kind of collect the milk that is coming out and you can kind of I think she's been putting it as like a powder like you can that is what she's been experimenting on but it is not something that has come out yet there's not a lot of research that's been done but from the research that they have been doing they've been able to prove that it is at least three times more nutritional than buffalo milk and if you know anything about buffalo milk which I don't because I'm gonna google right now just google it but buffalo milk compared to our regular cow's milk is higher in fat protein lactose vitamins and mineral content compared to regular cow's milk dairy but it is three times more nutritional than buffalo milk and that is just crazy to me now, there was another study done in Brazil where they were able to make flour from another breed of cockroaches called, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but that's probably okay, uh, Nelfoeda cinera, which is made of eight essential amino acids, which you, we usually need, and then it comes with higher quantities of omega-3s omega-9s, fatty acids, and then oleic acid, saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. So oleic acids are very nutritional for us. They definitely, they prevent a heart disease. And so a higher concentration of that, especially omega-3s, which we love and we can find in salmon, which is highly advertised. Uh, this can be found in cockroaches, which is so exciting. So one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about uh, cockroach milk is because when you look at the dairy industry, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen, there's like awful behind the scenes shots of like cows in the conditions that they're in. But um, with insects, we can harvest insects more efficiently with less, uh, like less money, less area. You know, it's a lot easier to harvest something tiny than to constantly be producing these like animals, like especially cows that require all the space, feed, and you know, the way 
maybe harvest them as you know somewhat inhumane and that's why there are different variations of milk but uh, specifically this milk they have done some RNA sequencing to it so that we could potentially harvest the RNA sequence that produces all of this nutrition that like can one second so based on this article they were able to find uh, 25 unique mRNA sequences that encode for 22 different proteins and these proteins include like I said before linoleic and oleic acids which are proteins that are really good for your heart health but uh, there's not a lot being done with this because this is very new and recent but something that we could do is extract those mRNA sequences that we've been able to find and I think in here they used BLAST to uh, code for them but they were able to find that these specific mRNA sequences that code for these proteins result in those higher nutrients that the egg sacs are receiving that we could potentially use and harvest for ourselves. So something really cool about this is that, you know, if we are able to find these proteins, we could start testing to see how they would increase all of these, you know, needed proteins and high nutrients that would work for us. And that's like, so exciting so <clears throat> one of the reasons why i think that cockroach milk could be super beneficial for you know not only the agricultural impact that it could change especially when we have lots of designated areas just for agriculture you know we have a limited space and with that limited space you know cockroach milk and production could help fight having to deal with having to take more space for that and then not to mention that with this kind of production if it's we can easily synthesize this like there's not a lot of research being done and from what they have done and what they've shown is that you know this milk or crystal it's not milk technically there's no milk in this um, it's like incredibly healthy for you and that you know we can harvest this and I think something that I would propose is doing some gene synthesis on this you know finding out what is specifically in these crystals how we can reproduce it without the cockroach and potentially you know make it into a fine powder where we can add it to anything like a kind of garnish or something like that because it's not technically milk and it's you know the it's a, like a crystalline structure that we can um, dehydrate and I think that's really cool you know if we're able to find these those 25 specific mRNAs we could find you know we could replicate that you know we've been learning in class that you know gene sequencing is something that we are able to do and find and since there's not a lot of that going around like this is so cool and important and I feel like we're there's always like a huge topic for you know world hunger and that's like a very big issue that I probably like won't get into but this is like some high nutrients value that we can give and potentially reproduce on our own in a laboratory setting and that is like insane I will be posting the links of the articles that I read. They're a little hard to read and understand, but hopefully my summary was good enough. And then, um, just thanks for watching, I guess.